Dreamers, welcome back. I am actually at the beach and I pre-filmed this to give you guys a little look at the super simple makeup look that I am going to take with me. Obviously, I'm not going to be wearing makeup when we're just hanging out on the beach, reading, swimming, and all that, but if we're gonna go someplace, some, do some sightseeing, go out to dinner, then this is the look that I'm going to wear while we're there and I will be using Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. So if you wanna see how I got this super simple makeup look, then stay tuned. I'm going to start with my Naked Skin One and Done. You could also just use a BB cream. I like this because I think that it looks really, really nice and it does have SPF 20 in it. So I usually just use about a pump and a half. It is a little bit thicker of a foundation so it's not as easy to blend as like the regular the naked skin foundation i just got foundation all in my hair fun don't do that <laughs> and you can just blend this in with your fingers but i really do like the way that it looks when i apply it with a brush But this does have nice coverage. Um, if you have a BB cream that you like that has nice coverage or if you want something with a little bit less coverage, you can always go for that. I don't happen to have a BB cream right now that I like. Then I am going to put some concealer on and I'm going to use the Naked Skin Concealer because I think that this holds up really well in heat and humidity. And if you're going to be at the beach or you're going to be somewhere where it's really hot, the lake or whatever, it's really good to have a concealer that's going to stay put. So obviously I'm not going to put this look on just to go to the beach and hang out, read, swim, or whatever. But if we're gonna go anywhere and do anything, go out to eat or go sightseeing, then that is what I will wear. Now, I don't need to set this foundation, really, but I do need to set my under eyes. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. This is the contour palette. And I'm gonna go into this like banana colored and I'm going to set my under eye and then just kind of hit my t-zone a little bit and then I'm just going to take a big fluffy kabuki brush and go into this bronzy shade actually I'm going to go into this right this bronzy shade right here and I'm not doing any contouring or anything like that I'm just warming up my face this bronzer is a little bit light for me right now so I'm kind of going over it a little bit more for blush I'm going to use wet n wilds apricot in the middle this is just a really pretty warm colored blush. It's got some shimmer to it, so it'll just kind of give you a nice glowy look without looking like you have blush on. Um, if this one doesn't do that for your skin tone, then I would you know, look around and find one that does. Um, I think that it just, it gives just a really pretty nice glow. I'm not gonna do any kind of highlight. Um, or contour or anything like that. Um, I am going to put on a bit of eyeshadow primer. And this is just my Wet n Wild Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. Because I want the bit of eyeshadow that I'm going to put on to stay.
I'm so excited to be going to the beach. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but I did pre-film a lot, so it was kind of on my mind. Okay, I'm going to take a big fluffy flat brush and I'm going to go into Soft and Sweet from that Peanut Butter Palette and I'm going to put that all over my lid to get the look started and to set that eye primer. Now I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go into peanut butter. And since I have hooded eyes, I'm going a little bit above my crease. If you don't have hooded eyes, then you probably want this in your crease. Now I'm going to take my Kat Von D, the little small shader brush, and I'm going to go into Peanut Butter Cup. And that's going to go on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to kind of give myself that guide, since I have hooded eyes, for my outer V. And I already filmed this once and realized I didn't turn my microphone on. So I went and took everything off and started over. And it seems like I have a few remnants of mascara floating around. I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush. This is a base shadow brush from Real Techniques. And back into Peanut Butter Cup. And I'm going to do that outer V and blend that over. Same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to pull back out that fluffy blending brush that I had the peanut butter on. And I'm not putting any more, well, I'm going to get a little bit more on this side. Usually I don't put more product on unless I need to and just kind of blend out that edge. And then I'm going to take another flat shader brush and go back into, uh, I guess that's called Spread the Love. Not soft and sweet. This is the soft and sweet row. And I'm just going to kind of pack that on the corner of my lid and clean up under my brows. I'm not going to do brows because this is a simple look. And then just keep blending that in till it all looks nice and neat. If you are a little bit older like me, I'm getting close to 40. Um, if you have some wrinkles on your eyelids, once you start really kind of blending things out, if you always find that in those wrinkly areas like mine are really in my outer corner, that you're having to go back in and put more and pack a little bit more shadow on, that's fine. I have to do that all the time, so no real worries on that. I am not going to do any eyeliner at all, but I am going to put on um, a coat of this Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And this really does a good job in one coat of getting really nice big long lashes without looking too overdone. And it's great for lower lashes too, which makes it a little bit easier because you only have to do one. But I am going to go in with the second coat anyway. Then for lips, I'm going to grab, this is a BH Cosmetics um, lip gloss, just, you know, Anything will work. You don't have to use the exact products that I'm using, just anything that's similar. And this is just a really nice warm gloss.
and I'm not crazy about the applicators on these. I always make a mess. I much prefer a doe foot applicator than these little brush tips, but I love this color. So there you go. Probably not simple to somebody who doesn't wear makeup, but if you're like me and you normally wear a whole lot more makeup than this, this is really super simple, easy, fun, warm for summer days. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this look, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing a get ready with me every Friday so that you can see sort of what I've been wearing that week and different looks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.